Alphos Hermenegil, scholar and astronomer of the University of Orlais. Today, to continue looking at the lore of the constellations for the sky map of Theda. We continue with the constellations viewed from the Astroriums in Crestwood and the Storm Coast. In Crestwood, we have Chios in the mid east of the map, near the Wyvern's Cave, Silentir, southmost, and Tenebrium in the west part of the map. Chios, or Chaos, is said to represent Zazikel, the old god, dragon of chaos, and archdemon defeated in the second blight in the tower's age. However, the Chantry protested to change this with the same stars, of course, to represent instead a dove. No offense to doves, but old god versus dove. I think I prefer the old god, you know? Apparently, the priest who wanted this change and started the movement died after Divine Joyous decided against the change. Sister Patriarchius believes that this tale is astrological superstition. But we know better, don't we? All of us who tune in to the Internet of the Faith, we know that speculation can also be truth. Silentir, or silence, is obviously attributed to Dumat. Old God, Dragon of Silence, of the very first blight, for which our friend Cory is to thank. However, the depiction of this constellation is apparently debated quite often. Some depict a flying dragon, others a human with a horn and a wand, usually a man. There are scholars, uh, like myself, who believe parts of this represent scales and speculate that originally this was meant to be methal. Yes, of course we scholars know better than Sister Oren Patriarchus. Tenebrium is also known as Shadow, associated with Luzakan, Old God, Dragon of Darkness and Night, still to be awakened. It still makes sense for it to be an owl, nocturnal creatures as they are, and was always depicted as such, even in ancient Tevinter texts. Falondin, friend of the dead, and guide of the dead, it said that he was able to transform into an owl. I mean, dragon, wolf, hala, owl, just putting it out there again. He was depicted in tales as a giant owl. Back when I first linked who each old god might be in terms of linking them to an Evernuris, I did say Luzacan could be Falondine. This could be more evidence. Just saying. Again. Oh, and fun trivia. Tenebre in Olysian means the dead, the undead, the underworld of dead. Tenebrium does sound very Latin. You mean Tevinter? Yes, yes, Tevinter. Right, that's right. Now to the storm coast we go. We have Belitanus, which can be viewed from the Astrarium at Apostates Landing. Fevenial in the northwest at Morin's Outlook and Servani near the two shore caves. Belitanus, or the Maiden, 
apparently has a different depiction each age. Yeah, so it kind of makes it confusing, if I might say. Prominent women from each age claim to be this maiden. One of them was Queen Madrigal of Antiva from the Exalted Age, who is said to have been murdered by crows, the assassins. Another was Queen Asha of Antiva from the earlier Black Age, known as the Mother of Thedas. This constellation is unsurprisingly associated with Urthemiel, Old God, Dragon of Beauty, from the famous Fifth Blight in the Dragon Age. Ferveniel, or the Oak, is a large towering tree with leafless branches. Makes me think of the White Tree of Gondor somehow from Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Many believe this goes back to the time of the Neromanians prior to Old God worship and prior to the formation of the Tevinter Imperium. There are those who believe, however, like me, that this constellation represents Andruil, goddess of the hunt, Vir Tanadal, which means way of three trees. Servani, also known as the chained man, is typically represented by a man dragging heavy chains behind him. It is said that this constellation is associated with Andoral, Old God, Dragon of Slaves from the Fourth Blight, and of the slave system that exists in Tevinter. It's also apparently used by the Trisalus Guild, who paint and imprint on their armor this very constellation as they stand guard to the gates of the city of Minrathus. I expect to see this in Dragon Age 4, standing guard with the chained man on their armor. That would be kind of awesome. And that's it for this second video regarding the lore of the constellations before we look at the sky map of Thedas. With your host, Alphonse Hermenegild, scholar and astronomer of the University of Orléans. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and I'll see you all soon. Maseranas. If you're new here and you like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Alternately, you can follow my website, BinkyProductions.com, where I post everything from all my channels. Be sure to check out some of my other stuff. You can also join in on the fun on Patreon for some random, sporadic, occasional, exclusive content. Otherwise, just liking and sharing, like it if you like it, for the like it if you like it dance, supports this channel and helps people find it. And your continued viewership is very much appreciated. Maseranas.